Oh. Yeah, you will forget how to use the regular keyboard. And then you just have to get a bunch of raises. Once you find a better way, um, then you're, you're, the, the old way is going to be distasteful. And it should be distasteful. For the last few weeks, I've been talking to some of our digmates, asking them how the Digma race has improved their overall productivity as a programmer. Let me introduce to you our awesome digmates. Here's Massimiliano, one of our first backers. He's a Python programmer, friendly, and an active Reddit user. He's also a master cook. Hi, digmates. I'm Massimiliano. I live in Italy, in Pisa. I was born in Sicily, Messina, and I'm a programmer, as you probably have guessed by my posts on Reddit and so on. Then we have Nasmo, a former Google programmer, entrepreneur, keyboard enthusiast, and car aficionado. You probably know him from his famous Ray's review. Now it's time to meet him in person. I'm a programmer, and I love mechanical and programmable keyboard because um, it's all about productivity for me. I spend a lot of time staring at IDEs every day. All of them bought the Rays for different reasons. Maybe it was because of the thumb keys. Somehow on GitHub found a list of ergo mechanical programmable keyboards and Digmo was one of them. And uh, I, it was almost love at first sight because uh, the space bar had been split into four, four keys on top and there were two on the bottom, which are just, I just was sold right from that photo and then I ordered one right away. Or Massimiliano's investigation I saw some kind of advertisement on a Chinese scam site or something like that of the picture of the race. And it was of a really, really low and strange uh, price. So it was clearly blinking, I'm scam, I'm scam. But I was curious about the keyboard. I took a lot of time to find what was that keyboard. And finally, I found the Kickstarter page. But there's one thing they all had in common, and it's that they started experimenting with their keyboards right away. So let's jump right to their layouts. Massimiliano has adapted his layout for the specifics of working with Python. As you can see, I like having uh, modifiers completely symmetrical. And this one is basically the um, dash minus uh, key plus exactly. shift, mm -hmm. because uh, I usually program in Python and in Python, this stuff is probably as frequent as the A letter and the space. So it's really important to have here. I move through the code a lot and I wanted the frequently accessed keys like the arrows or page up, page down, home and hand. Insert is here because usually when you program, you need insert in combination with other keys to switch between line selecting and columnar selecting. And I have caps lock here because uh, right alt plus caps lock is composing. His main layer covers the basics of the trade, but what about the specifics? Finding, reporting, and fixing bugs also have a special place both in his heart and his layout. Well, layer one is really everything else. And we have the strange keys useful to programmers, scroll okay. lock, pause, and print screen. Scroll lock and pause are really useful when you interact with the console, the Linux console, you type commands by hand, they are useful. And print screen is uh, really, really useful because it helps to taking a screenshot and uh, attaching the screenshot to an issue for the bug tracker or my job. I know it's complete, completely different from probably what you do, but that's because the keyboard uh, mirrors and have to satisfy the needs uh, of what you do and how to do it. So it's really personal. Nasmo also customized his layout to adapt it to his needs, which in his case are his numerous ergonomic keyboards. My dabbling with this goes back to the Kinesis Advantage, which is really old. With the Rays, um, I had to rethink all of it because uh, I just basically threw my modified iterated key maps into the trash and started again um, with the Rays in mind because it unlocks too many things. Basically, what I was used to was a very constrained environment and moving to this new flexible environment, I couldn't just take what I knew and apply it. So the Rays became a, sort of like a start from scratch. He's also a big advocate of the pinky usage reduction, 
So he'd instantly disabled the pinky zone keys as soon as he got the raise. And thanks to my advice. With uh, all the keyboards I've ever had, I used to do this a lot. And from, from your videos, I learned that backspace and escape and the control keys and modifier keys basically. I was just used to doing this and I had to break that habit. So I just disabled those keys on the, on the race. Just straight up disabled them. He works on a simple two-layer system. His default layer adapts easily to any device, situation, software, or operating system. That's one of the many perks of being a programmer. When asked about the improvements on his productivity, Nazmul was very clear about it. If you want to get ahead, uh, you got to invest in this. It's not that complicated. Like, let's say you, you're at the point where um, you, can, you can code, you can structure your programs, you can write tests, you can reason about code, you can read code. At some point, um, how slowly <laughs> you type the characters is going to get in your way. And once you reach that level in your professional game, then you gotta you gotta get you gotta get the race. Otherwise, you're gonna be left behind. There are many ways to find an optimal layout. Just experiment and find yours. Still, if you want a head start, you can download all of these configurations in the link in the description box below. One thing they all agreed though is the fact that their health improved. Each and every one of them were feeling some kind of pain or discomfort before they got the Digma race. I was leaning to a side because on the right there was the mouse, the keyboard was two on the left, and my left side ached. And I understood that the problem of my aching was the position of the keyboard by watching that video. So, so you, you could relate to what he was saying? Yes, absolutely, I could relate. Each and every one of them improved since they started using the race. Side pain uh, more or less disappeared after two weeks, in case anyone is interested. This is uh, why I bought the, the race and why I'm happy over having the race, uh, just from a medical uh, point of view. Then I'm really happy because of the keyboard and because I can program it. So just by stopping this nonsense, it's like stuff used to hurt up and down everywhere. Uh, that just went away. And that didn't take very long for it to go away. The, I, I experienced that uh, lack of pain with the, with the raise right away. Massimiliano's leaning problem got better after a few days. Nazmul has been feeling less stress in his wrists. Health and comfort are essential for productivity, especially for programmers who use the keyboard for more than eight long hours a day. And each programmer has very distinct areas of responsibility, and they will use the keyboard differently. So what's beautiful about the raise is that it can fit different people's needs and job requirements. That's how our digmates improved their productivity. They invested some time in themselves, in their keyboard, and found what worked and what didn't. And now they are reaping the benefits. Take my like Porsche. It has a focus on ergonomics and form and function. It's beautiful. Nobody can argue that this is a beautiful keyboard. So if you want the aesthetics and you want the functionality, then obviously the Digma Raise is your only option. If you want to boost your productivity like our Digmates, visit our website and get yourself a Digma Raise. If you're interested in any of the layer configurations we showed you, don't worry, the links are in the description below. We still have some surprises involving our Digmates because they also asked us some questions and... If you don't want to miss it, like and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon so we can be together forever.